Hi everyone, thanks for joining this Trident Talks Black Cat Edition. I'm Max Horseman, I'm a Principal Consultant here at Trident and I'm joined today by Eli Khan. As well as many other things, Eli has previously been a successful founder himself and today he's VP of Product Management for Sentinel-1's Cloud Security, AI, ML and Core Platform Business. Thanks for joining Eli, how are you today? Pleasure, I'm doing great. You know, a little bit tired, it's been a few crazy days here, but, uh, but doing well. <laughs> Well, we won't talk about that too much, <laughs> um, but um, if you don't mind kind of running a brief introduction for those that aren't lucky enough to be familiar with you and, of course, Sentinel One. Sounds good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, once again, my name is Eli Khan. I'm currently VP of product at Sentinel One. And uh, let's see here. I started my career in the federal government doing cybersecurity strategy and policy, first at the Department of Homeland Security, uh, an organization that's now called CISA. Uh, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, and then at the White House at the National Security Council, uh, working for the National Security Advisor on, on cybersecurity strategy and policy. Um, back in 2010, I, I left government and uh, went off to grad school, uh, business school, to, uh, to pivot into entrepreneurship. And while in business school, I started a company called Squirrel uh, with a group of folks from the NSA that built out NSA's big data architectures and platform. And, uh, and we started this company called Squirrel. And uh, Squirrel became an early pioneer in the usage and development of security graphs. Uh, and we used it to power you know, threat hunting and threat investigations. Uh, so we developed the first known threat hunting platform uh, using security graphs, which uh, uh, was quite innovative at the time. And we did a lot to, to pioneer what is threat hunting, develop threat hunting frameworks and maturity models and threat hunting cycles that are still used today. And uh, Squirrel was acquired by AWS in 2018. Mm. And uh, it became Amazon Detective. I, I, I branched off and started a new product inside AWS called AWS Security Hub. Had a lot of fun uh, running that for four years. And, and then uh, after, after four years, I was ready for a new challenge and, and came over here to Sentinel One. Uh, and I'm leading up the cloud security efforts here and also the AI capabilities at Sentinel One. Yeah, and um, look, hugely rich history there um, with kind of going from, uh, you know, working for kind of the, well, within the federal space and then entrepreneurship. Um, what a journey. Um, and then just in terms of kind of what's in store at Sentinel One, obviously, having been a founder yourself and then kind of moving to a market leader, right? I'm just really keen to kind of get your perspective on kind of what's next for Sentinel One and what's in store there. Yeah. Well, you know, at Sentinel One, we've got uh, this uh, three legged strategy. Um, that we're executing on. Um, the first is, is really building out a unified platform to defend and protect against cybersecurity threats. So, uh, you know, we obviously started as an endpoint security company, uh, an, a pioneer in EDR and AI power detections, uh, but we've extended this now to cloud security, identity security. Uh, we also have our data lake. Uh, and an exposure management capability. And the goal with this unified platform across those different attack surface areas is really to help customers holistically identify security incidents, be able to go all the way back to the root cause of those security incidents and contain or remediate the entire incident. You know, which is tougher to do if you're like, say, just a cloud security platform, because many, if not most, cloud security incidents start with the compromise of a user or a laptop or workstation. Yeah. So our goal is to do that holistic security incident identification and, and remediation from that unified platform. Um, we're also, you know, you know, staying true to our roots in the form of AI-driven detections uh, and detection innovation. You know, we, you know, I guess almost 10 years ago now, built out uh, one of the first supervised machine learning models to automatically detect malware based on the characteristics of a file as opposed to signatures associated with the file. We continue to innovate there. 
Um, we're doing a, a bunch of new things when it comes to graph-oriented detections, um, even LLM-based detections. Um, so a lot of, of exciting new things happening there. And then the third part of our strategy at Sentinel One is autonomous security operations, um, which is uh, you know actually also where we started uh, in the form of something called protect mode. So you know for our agent-based detections that we're doing, we're not just detecting. You can actually flip those detections into protect mode and automatically kill offending processes, quarantine malicious files. But we're now with AI taking that, or generative AI specifically, taking that to the next level and doing more and more to automate threat hunting, automate threat investigations, automate uh, triage, and automate response and remediation activities. Um, so doing more and more to take the mundane out of security operations uh, and do more of that work with AI and allow analysts focus their time on higher ROI activities. Yeah, it's a really interesting space. And um, I'm keen to kind of get your perspective on Black Hat this year, kind of what are you excited for and where can people kind of find Sentinel One if they want to kind of learn more? I'm sure yeah. here, there and everywhere, but. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we've got like a few of our security luminaries giving talks at Black Hat this year. Um, so definitely recommend folks Checking those out. Alex Stamos, uh, you know, former CISO uh, for Yahoo and Facebook and, and other uh, major corporations, who's now our chief, chief trust officer, is giving a, a really interesting talk on how I learned to kick my Microsoft addiction and protect my company from Redmond's mistakes. <laughs> so that's a, that'll be a fun talk. And then, um, you know, our alert lead security researcher, uh, very well known in the security research world, uh, he goes by Jags. Uh, he's uh, he's giving a, a, a very detailed technical talk on deoxidizing the Rust malware ecosystem. Uh, so a deep dive into how adversaries are using Rust to build the latest generations of malware. Um, so those are a few of the talks that uh, that I would definitely point folks towards. But uh, probably one of the other really exciting things that we're doing at uh, at Black Hat is uh, a, a, something that we're doing in our booth called Man vs. Machine, or actually I think we've renamed that to Mortal vs. Machine. <laughs> and so. Uh, at RSA, we unveiled our generative AI capability called Purple AI, uh, which helps streamline and simplify threat hunting and investigations. And we're actually running live capture the flag contests where folks who have access to Purple AI compete against others who don't have access to Purple AI in a capture the flag contest. And the folks that have access to Purple AI are undefeated so far. <laughs> We've run this now at a few different conferences and on site with a lot of our customers. And it's a really fun way to get really hands on experience with uh, you know, generative AI uh, capabilities and, and showcase the power of them. Um, and it's frankly quite different from what we see our competitors doing. Yeah. Uh, when I walk around like the RSA hall, um, you know, a few months ago, there were everyone, everyone that was showcasing their AI, generative AI capabilities, it was either a recorded demo or like a very static canned demo. Uh, I didn't see anyone else that was confident enough in their solution to give folks hands on keyboard access. Uh, and actually, we started doing that a year ago. We did that last year at Black Hat, giving folks hands-on keyboard access to Purple AI to bang on it. This year, you know, we're up taking that up a level and actually have this, uh, you know, capture the flag contest that we're giving folks access to. It's fun. It's uh, it usually draws a crowd, so definitely recommend folks come check out our booth. Oh, it sounds great, and what an interactive way of showcasing that capability, right? Um, sounds like a bit of a challenge, though, and I'm sure there's a few probably listening that are like challenge accepted. Um, oh, for we'll, sure, uh, 
<laughs> sure. I mean, people look, I mean, it's black hat, right? Like, uh, <laughs> folks are going to try and jailbreak it, <laughs> try to leak, uh, leak data out of it. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been battle tested. So, so we welcome the challenge. Great. Um, look, I really appreciate you joining Eli and I uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.